Uh, Coach, uh, you talked a lot about the tradition and, and restoring some of the tradition and, and making sure you remind everybody of tradition. Sure. And, uh, again, they honored uh, Coach Coriel and his family uh, yeah. during the game on Saturday night. You uh, brought back the, uh, the warrior walk before the game, and uh, several hundred people were there. Right. And the kids loved it. I mean, in talking to the players that I spoke to this week, they said, man, that was awesome. And it was one of those things where they said, you know what, we are going to keep winning so that that thing keeps growing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's, sure, it's a little bit of a sure. motivation for them, too, man. Sure. They really like it, – it's kind of interesting. I don't know that the fans realize how much the kids feel the fans. Oh, and, yeah. uh, and having Marshall Falk there and, uh, and, and what you're bringing back and getting off to the win, you know, all of it was a positive Saturday night, I think. Well, you know, it's so important. And you've heard me talk, and most of these people have before, about I think, uh, you know – uh, you, you've got to remember who you are and, uh, you know, the traditions, the legacies, the 18 championships, Coach Coriel and how uh, he uh, still runs through this program. And, you know, there's, uh, you know, Marshall being one of the guys who uh, uh, obviously is uh, uh, one of the great players from here. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys out there. You know, Fred Dreyer, I saw him before the game and, uh you know he's uh, he's great. Number one, he's a defensive lineman, so he's a little <laughs> he's a little wacky. You know, he's a little like kook that. like you. Yeah. yeah good. So I, I kind of like that. And but uh, you know, there's so many guys out there. And you know, when we started the AFL, the Aztec uh, Football Legacy Group, uh, it's amazing. It started with 30, and it's 357 guys now who are all uh, former players, and uh, they uh, I tell you, they come back, and it's nice to have them back. No question about that. And when you talk about getting back to tradition, I mean, it's a step and, you know, take one step, take another step. And uh, I think, you know, it was a little surprising to me when I saw this, but, and I'm sure you've seen it now, but to go 2-0 and may not sound a lot to, to some other people out there, but this San Diego State football program has not been 2-0 and in, uh, in 15 years. So, I mean, this game means a lot, not only to win it and be 2-0, and but Sure. In order to continue trying to restore what you're trying to restore, this game means a lot Saturday night. Well, you know, you know, let's face it, they all mean a lot, you know, <laughs> to be honest with you. But uh, That's right. If you, you know, win this one, you're done, right? Well, yeah. yeah, that's right. But, <laughs> no, and like I said, you know, we're, we're guaranteed 12, and we've got 11 guaranteed games left. And uh, believe me, we want to play that 13th game. But, you know, we've got to look at it, you know, uh, how it is, you know, and, and – uh, we've got to do a great job of having, you know, practicing this week and uh, Tuesday and Wednesday are always heavy work days. And uh, uh, we we had a we we had a pretty good practice this afternoon. It was kind of fun. They got after each other, and there's some uh, competition and some chippiness out there that I think you need to have on a team. But uh, they uh, they I thought uh, we had a lot of good things that that uh, we've done, and we've got to carry that through. And uh, you know. Timing is always an issue of uh, your offense and, and uh, uh, defensively playing fast and uh, playing physical. So we've got to keep that up tomorrow and then uh, keep focused on what our job is. All right, Saturday night uh, right here on AM600 Kogo, game number two of the season. The Aztecs taking on New Mexico State. Kickoff for the game on uh, Saturday night is 5 o'clock Pacific time. And we will be on with our pregame show on AM600 Kogo at 4 o'clock on Saturday night. We will come back to the Claim Jumper in La Mesa. We're halfway through. When we come back, we're going to have Polly. Uh, the lovely Polly is going to pass the microphone around. Questions fired live at the Coach Brady Hope from our uh, crowd here at the Claim Jumper. Stay tuned for that. I know the coach is always on edge getting ready for that particular segment, which sure. is next That's right. after this uh, news update on AM600 Kogo.